Welcome to GoVM Lab, India's first job-ready VMware learning platform where professionals meet experts to revolutionize their VMware careers. Hello everyone. Welcome to GoVM Lab, VMware vSphere Distributed Switch Advanced Networking Lecture Series. In this lecture, we are going to learn about network IO control capability of vSphere Distributed Switch. In last two lectures, we have discussed about configuring network IO control policies at system traffic level. In the lecture one, we discussed about virtual machine traffic and the lecture two, we discussed about vMotion traffic. In this lecture, we are going to learn about how do we go and configure network IO control policies, not at the entire system traffic level, but also at the virtual machine adapter level. And that's what we are going to do in this lecture, where we are going to configure network IO control parameters like limit and shares at virtual machine VNIC level or virtual machine adapter level. So with that, let's get started. As you could see that we are logged into vCenter server named as savcsa01.govmlab.local. Now let's go and browse our vCenter server. Within that vCenter server, we do see data center created named as SA data center. Let's go and browse our data center. Within that data center, we do see a cluster created named as SA cluster. Let's go and browse our SA cluster and we do see that there are three ESXi hosts which are part of that cluster and we have a bunch of VMs which are running on that cluster. Before we get started with network IO control policy configuration at VM adapter level, let's have a quick review of our vSphere networking configuration. So click on networking icon and we do see that there are two distributed switches created on this vSphere infrastructure. The first one is VDS site A and the second distributed switch is VDS site B. Now let's go and browse our VDS site A. Within that switch, we do see there are two port groups created on that distributed switch. The first port group, what do we see that is DVPG VM network created for virtual machine traffic and the other port group is a well-defined DV uplink port group. Now let's click on that VDS, click on host and we do see that our ESX01 and 02 host is managed by this distributed switch click on VMs and we do see that there are VMs named as NetPerf and NetServer which is running on that distributed switch. Now let's go and browse our distributed switch named as VDS site B. On that switch we do see that there are, there are two port groups created on this distributed switch named as management named as DVPG management and DVPG production and the last what do we see that uplink port group. Now click on that switch click on VMs and we do see that there is only one VM which is running on that distributed switch and it is also in powered off state. And if you click on host, you do see that there is only one ESXi host. ESX03 is connected to distributed switch VDS site B. Let's go back to our host and cluster view. And for this net IO control demonstration purpose, we are going to refer these two VM named as NetPerf VM and NetServer VM for our traffic generation and as we have discussed net server as we have discussed netperf is an open source utility which is used for generating traffic in test and dev environment and that's what we are going to use netperf binaries to generate the traffic and that's where we have these two vms so let's click on netperf vm and we do see that our netperf vm is running on sa esxi02 host let's click on net server vm and we do see that our net server VM is running on SA ESXi 01 host. So both of these VMs are running on two different ESXi hosts. One VM is going to be a server of that application. Other, other VM is going to be the client of that application. We are going to start the traffic between these two VMs and will start monitoring the network traffic, which will be flowing across these two ESXi hosts. So now let's go and generate the traffic on our these two VMs before we go and enable network IO control at our virtual machine network adapter level. So click on NetServer VM, click on OK. And that's our NetServer VM. Run the command if config. And we do see that our NetServer VM IP address is 172.20.11.203. Let's go back to our vSphere client. Let's log in to our NetPerf VM. Click on OK. Let's run the command if config. And we do see that our NetPerf VM IP address is 172.20.11.203. Four. So now let's go and start the net server on this particular VM. 
For that, we are going to run the command net server hyphen p 3246. So we are running net server on the port number 3246. And we do see that net server has been successfully started on the port number 3246. Now let's do one thing. Let's go back to our NetPerf VM and let's run the client application. For that, we are going to run the command netperf h. We are going to give the IP address of our VM where we have started net server. And that IP address is 11.203. The port number is going to be 3246. The traffic type is we are using is TCP stream. And we are going to run this traffic for let's say 600 seconds. Now press enter key and we do see that TCP traffic has successfully started. So now let's go back to our ESXi host where this particular virtual machine is running, which is our NetPerf VM and let's look at the ESX top command. So let's go back to our vSphere client and let's see that which host this VM is running. And if you do see that this NetPerf VM is running on SA ESXi 02 host. So that's our putty session of our ESXi host. And you do see that we are logged into SA ESXi 02 host. So let's run the command ESX top. Press N key for networking view and you do see that it gives us networking statistics of our ESXi host and that's the networking view of our ESX top command and this is what we are interested into because we want to see that how much traffic is being pumped by this particular virtual machine and as you could see that this particular virtual machine is generating 12 megabits per second packets or that's the network traffic what this virtual machine is able to pump. The reason why we are not able to see a lot of uh, traffic because it's a lab environment and there's a lot of nested environment have been implemented because of which we might see uh, such a low throughput. But if you do it in the production, you might be seeing a much better throughput. So as of now, for this particular demonstration purpose, we are going to use 12 megabits or 14 megabits traffic as a benchmark or reference traffic for our understanding purpose. So you do see that currently this VM is able to pump maximum around 14 to 15 megabits per second. So now let's go back to our vSphere client and right click on that VM, click on edit settings and click on network adapter. And if you notice that we don't get any option of configuring limit or shares parameter at our virtual machine network adapter level. There are very limited options. What do we see that the very first option says that which particular port group we want our network adapter to connect it to. The second is about the status. Do we want that adapter to be connected state or not? The third is all about the port ID, which would be consumed by that particular network adapter. The fourth is about the adapter type, whether it's a E1000 or VMX Net3. And the last what we have it is MAC address. So if you do see that we don't find any option where we can go and configure network IO policies like traffic limit or maybe reservations at each virtual machine adapter level. And the reason why we are not seeing these options at the virtual machine network adapter level, let me tell you the reason behind that. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to continue watch this lecture, then join our exclusive YouTube membership program only at the price of 299 rupees INR per month and unlock your VMware potential with GoVM Lab. With this membership program, you can unlock all of our members only content published on our YouTube channel. You can watch out the videos presented on your screen to know the benefits of GoVM Lab subscription as well as the membership program. Thank you.